Hello everyone! Welcome to an unboxing video. Unboxing? I don't know why I said it like that. It's actually not really an unboxing. Welcome to this fan pen video with moi, Gourmet Pens. The pen is large. No, the box is large. This is the box. Um, from the box, you could probably guess what it is. It's an Aurora. Now, I purchased this pen at Apple Bone Pennon. And if you use the discount code FRIEND, you can get 10% off. I don't get a commission, but it's a pretty sweet deal. And so I just thought I would tell you. Now, when I ordered this pen, I actually wanted a different nib on it. So if you go to the Apple Bone website, you can select from like all the nibs. So I picked the nib that I wanted, which was a double broad. And then he arranged to have the nib changed. Now this happened over the summer and apparently Aurora like shuts down at some point in August, just for vacation, totally fine. So it was really great. He let me know what was going on. He said, there's the delay. This is why I'm waiting to hear from Aurora. And then all of a sudden he messages me or sends me an email and he's like, your pen is here. And I'm like, yay. So now I have the pen. So in case you're wondering what the pen is, it is, it is indeed an Aurora. It's an Aurora 88, but a special one. What does a special Aurora 88 mean? It means you get a ridiculously huge, obnoxious box. <laughs> eh. Some people like boxes. I hate boxes. So the pen is, uh, it's got a massive box. Now it is the Saturno. Now what they say is, um, there's 888 pens, limited edition. Cap and barrel in blue nacre oroloid. Gold-plated trims, limited and numbered edition, 18 karat solid gold nib. It's a giant box. The pen is not giant, so like it, like, I don't really like the box. Inside of the box is another box, which is a very solid box. It's magnetic. The pen sits on this leathery bed. And underneath it, ah, you get the little clip, right? Like, sorry, the little plastic thing that comes on your clip. It comes with a bottle of black Aurora ink. I will say that's pretty cool. Aurora Black is a killer black and not a lot of companies give you ink with your purchase. So I know it's not a huge deal, but I really like it. And it comes with your booklet. In your booklet, it talks about Aurora. Aurora was born in 1919 and it tells you about um, the myth about Japan. It tells you about how to use a filling, like the pen filling system. It's got details about writing and nibs and all sorts of stuff. If you're a new user, definitely worth reading because it gives you some background on your pen and how to use it safely. So that is the huge packaging that I absolutely despise because only because it's really big. And I think it's very elegant. It definitely makes you feel like you have purchased a very special pen, which you have. But because I'm someone who doesn't really like boxes and I don't like to keep boxes, it's kind of like a negative thing for me, but that's okay. I've got friends who like boxes, so I just give them to them. The pen is the Aurora 88 Saturno. I know this doesn't really capture it. We're going to do writing and stuff and you'll see it up close. It's a gorgeous pen. Now, the price is roughly like 700 US, like depending on if you use the code or if you buy it like with, with or without VAT, but um, this is the without VAT price. 18 karat gold nib, you can get an extra fine, fine, medium, broad, double broad, oblique medium, oblique broad, oblique double broad, stub or an italic nib. Wow. Now, you might not like Aurora's, they might not appeal to you, you might find them expensive. I do find some of them quite expensive, like this one is not inexpensive, it's pretty expensive. but. The fact that they offer so many nib options is superb and I'm willing to pay more for more nib options. Like I'm willing to pay more for the nib that I want. So I'm very grateful that they make this available to us because like, I don't want another fine medium broad. I have lots of those. I want stubs and italics and oblique double broads and stuff like that. So I'm on board with that. I'm really happy. It is a piston filler with the hidden uh, reservoir, which just has like a couple extra drops of ink. Fantastic, except for cleaning. <laughs> uh, it's a resin pen. It weighs 26 grams. Closed, it's 135 mill millimeters. So that's what it looks like in my hand. If we uncap it, for me, it's super comfortable. I have no issues with it. I actually think it's a really nicely sized pen. And if you want to post, you can snug, secure, really well balanced. I, I'm really happy with this. 
So this size is 150 millimeters and just like this is 120 millimeters. The pen itself feels really good and um, if we're comparing to something like Visconti, the build quality is really solid. Like I've looked over this in detail, there's nothing weird, there's no like glue sticking out, there's no sharp bits, uh, it's well polished, everything is in place and as it should be. So uh, am I biased? Yeah, because I bought the pen so I want to like it. but. Um, I actually think it's really gorgeous. It's a really beautiful pen. I'm really happy with this. And what they say about the Saturno is this series is inspired by the splendor of the solar system and planets. I'm okay with that. I like that. Sounds pretty. That's really all there is that I have in details for the pen. Um, it is numbered. The number is right here. It's very simple otherwise. I actually have bought the 88 Urano, which I thought I would love because of the color, but for me, the blue and the black just clash too much, but this, for me, matches really well. So, absolutely exquisite, and if you're looking for an Aurora, like, it's really nice. So the new one, I believe, is called the Mercurial, but um, I will, guess I'll shut up now, because there's really not a whole lot else to say about the pen itself. It's not heavy, it's not a complicated pen in terms of design. I think the material is stunning. It's not celluloid, so the flecked look is just resin, like they've managed to capture it using their own Oroloid. Uh, the gold trim, I think, is a nice compliment, but the build is good and um, the piston is super smooth. It operates really well. The nibs are removable, so if you have other Auroras, they're interchangeable. So, like, I'm really happy with it so far. That's that's basically it. But uh, let's go do some writing. Let's take a look at the nib. Let's take a look at that sweet double broad. Wait, there we go. I know it's blown out, but um, wait, where's the focus? There it is. That's okay. You'll see it in detail up close. Exquisite pen. I'm really happy. Let's go see how it writes because that's the best part. Bye. Okay, here we are with the Aurora 88 Saturno. I'm just going to rotate it so you can see how very pretty it is. Beautiful oroloid material. Um, it, it would be killer if it was celluloid because I like the smell of celluloid, but as it is, it's very lovely. Nothing on the finial, um, the classic Aurora like blobby tip, uh, clip, and it has some give to it, so it's definitely usable. Um, numbered limited edition, the Aurora center band standard piston turning knob sorry didn't finish my sentence piston turning knob um black section i find this ridge right here a little hard like it's a little too um drastic of a ridge but that's okay um this is basically where i grip anyway so it's uh, it's just off if i'm doing like really intricate work i usually grip it like this and that's where it hurts but the threads are smooth the cute little ink window Great size for me, and if you have larger hands, you can absolutely post it. It's still very comfortable, very well balanced. So in that regard, it's really nice. Now, I've got, oh, sorry, I was going to show you the nib. So there is that double broad. It looks quite stubby, and it's, um, it's the line variation on this is killer. It's very distinct. So let's do some writing, shall we? Let me just find a page that is not really embarrassing. Oh my god, they're all embarrassing. Okay, let's use here. So, I've got it inked with a light ink because I thought it would match the yellow of the pen well, so hopefully it's not too difficult to see, but we will verify that in just a second. So with a stub nib, um, because this is not round point, I try to keep the nib aligned with the page so that it doesn't skip. And in that regard, it can make it more difficult to write with if you have trouble keeping your nib aligned. Like if you rotate your nib, you may need to try it out or look at an oblique. So Aurora 88. Saturno. What did I say this was 18 karat, right? It is quite the broad, double broad. It, 
it's it's surprisingly it's quite dry um i don't find it a gusher and in that regard that might be nice if you want to use this for daily writing or something it's not going to take forever to dry um, the ink is pilot the 100 and earth 100th anniversary daikokuten and if we want to look at the variation okay so um, as i said it's a bit dry so if we do free weight it's it passes but it's on the dry side and um reverse is useless so don't even bother if we do just let's do some regular writing so with light pressure it's definitely on the dry side it flows fine but i prefer my nibs really wet so there there's the line you're going to get but it dries fast oh that did not dry fast the top half dry, dried fast so yeah i guess i'm getting a little bit of pooling there give it a second i'm just seeing yeah i'm thinking like 15 seconds like to me that's pretty fast yeah and if we apply pressure what's going to happen is you're just going to get a wetter line it actually doesn't change the width of your line too much but look at that variation um no skips no hard starts it performs well you just need to make sure to keep the nib aligned with the page because if you rotate or if you like write like that it's it almost feels italic like it's amazing but um you'll get skipping and you'll get hard starts so you want to make sure you're writing straight on the page Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I find the nib really fun. Um, I'll probably have it tuned to be a little bit wetter, but um, it definitely works well, and uh, I'm not unhappy with that. This is just really fast. So this is what happens if I'm going too fast. Uh, I'm not keeping the nib aligned, so you get that kind of messy, skippy look. So I got mine from Applebaum and i ordered it ages ago and he got it the nib swapped for me and did everything fantastically so thank you apple Boom. you can use the discount code friend for 10 percent off your purchases there no commission just a sweet deal for you and that excludes mont blanc just for the record so this was gourmet pens you can find me on facebook twitter pinterest uh, instagram and patreon and you can also find me on those platforms most of them anyway as Toronto Pen Company for your nib modification, calligraphy and lettering, and workshop needs. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was my own purchase, so uh, in a way it was really fun because, you know, I get to, I don't know, I get to review a pen that I picked, and it's fun. So if you did enjoy, I would love it if you would like and subscribe, and we'll see you for another video later. Okay, bye! Mm -hmm.